Hey, what's going on guys? God Status here. So today we're going to be taking a look at some of the easiest guns to use in Phantom Forces as of right now, so January of 2021. Let's jump right into this. The first gun we're going to take a look at is the M16A3, and the setup that I'm running in these clips is a Cobra Sight, Muzzle Booster, Stubby Grip, Blue Laser, and 223 Remington. Now this gun shoots at 864 rate of fire, and it has a pretty decent accuracy. Having a Muzzle Booster instead of something like a Muzzle Break gives it a little bit more recoil, but I honestly found that the extra, what, 64 fire? or whatever was actually really enjoyable it made the gun seem a lot better and i overall enjoyed it shout out to my friend daniel aka bog status i'll leave a link to his channel in the description he does like pf frag movies and stuff now if you guys want to check him out but the gun was extremely fun to use i posted a video of like you know i think it was titled something like this just isn't fair in phantom forces where i was using the m16a3 with a muzzle booster and i also didn't have 223 remington ammo which gives you 10 more bullets and a mag which makes a huge difference especially when you're rocking that muzzle booster you need more ammo it's just it's overall all insanely good at close to medium range this gun just shreds it's really really nice to use again you could take off that muzzle booster and throw on something like a muzzle break and you'll have insanely good accuracy but overall the m16a3 is just a beast of a gun like even with a six shot at range it still feels incredibly powerful and you're able to keep that four shot distance up to over 80 studs anyways so it's not really that hard of a drop off when you're playing that close to medium range i promise you won't even really notice it you can just dominate those close engagements you'll have that close and medium kind of confidence that you need and with the accuracy that this gun does provide it definitely makes it one of the top guns in the game in my opinion overall just a bang next up we have the c782 now this gun is just always has been really good yeah ever since it came out truthfully it's in by no means overpowered but the accuracy on this gun is ridiculous as you'll see in the clips the setup that we run here is a reflex sight long barrel stubby grip full stock and armor piercing the weird thing about armor piercing on this gun is that it doesn't change your damage literally at all so it gives it a little bit of a drop off change so instead of being uh 29 damage up to 80 studs it drops down to 40 studs but you get a lot more wall penetration and i think that's very much worth that trade-off this gun has your normal standard 30 bullets, it drops down to a 6 shot at range as well, but the accuracy is just unmatched. Like, honestly, I would very easily say this is more accurate than any of the augs in the game. It is insanely good. A out of this entire video, I think this is by far the easiest gun to use that anyone can pick up and just immediately adapt to. I, I think it's overall probably, like I said, I think it might be the most accurate gun in the game, truthfully. So let's switch things over to the AK-105. Now, I never gave this gun any love in the past because it just wasn't anything special to me. Without these attachments, I still don't think I would care for the gun overall. So the attachments that we ran in here are mini sight, bars barrel, stubby grip, blue laser, and 5.56 conversion ammo. It's so accurate. Like, it has a lot of horizontal recoil, which can be adjusted for, but it's not anywhere near as bad as you think. Horizontal recoil, more or less, it'll go back and forth and your sight will quite literally overlap lap on itself eventually you're bound to kill the person not to mention the fact that there's quite literally almost zero vertical recoil in fact it actually pulls down a little bit so you have to pull yourself up a tad bit just just a tad bit at the beginning of a spray but that's really about all Outside of that, using this was so weird to me because most guns in PF and in most shooters actually, vertical recoil is the dominant factor in most things. So you just naturally get used to always pulling down rather than side to side. And this gun just doesn't have that factor. Like you can actually focus on horizontal recoil if you want. But even then, like I said, you're bound to just overlap on where you're shooting and you'll get the kill eventually no matter what. Having that, like, ugh, I can't even begin to explain, just watch the clips, have that very minimal vertical recoil jump is so nice it feels really weird it takes a while to adjust to i know it just it threw me for a loop like i was so confused as to what this gun was but it's honestly so nice to use it's a higher unlock rank but honestly when you become such a high rank and you have nothing else to do give this gun a try i promise most of you guys will enjoy it next one is the beowulf ecr with 556 ammo i feel like this doesn't get mentioned enough so the full setup we used here was coyote compensator folding grip green laser 556 conversion I feel like this just doesn't really get mentioned enough, and I know that I haven't shown this gun the love that it deserves, so... The main prior, like, the main huge thing to this gun is that it can 3-shot anywhere up to 40 studs. That's a 3-shot on 800 fire rate at close range. 
That's saying you have the same fire rate as the C7A2 and the M16A3, except you can only take three bullets to kill rather than four. The gun is so crazy strong and close to medium range, I wouldn't really recommend using this gun at like long range 150-200 studs. Sure, you can definitely get the kills with it, it'll be those kills where you're using a little too many bullets than you'd like, whereas like a C72, god you're just gonna, you're gonna laser them, they're gonna die immediately. This one does have a little bit more recoil to it, but I still think it's insanely easy and close to medium range. It's so dominant, it keeps up with guns like this gun in close range, if you use movement correctly, can go against SMGs really easily. And that's something that a lot of ARs struggle to do in those close range, even if you don't get the first shot sometimes, or excuse me, even if you do get the first shot sometimes against those SMGs, you can still lose. This one just packs such a punch that it's so, so versatile that it doesn't even feel like you're using an AR, even though it technically converts to an AR, it still feels like you're using that crazy strong battle rifle rifle and I think it's just again real easy has an insanely fast reload time and has decent recoil, super high damage, good fire rate. I don't think that there's any real downside to the 556 conversion Beowulf ECR. And then jumping on to our last gun of the video here, we're going to talk about the Scar H. The setup that we ran in throughout this was a reflex sight, long barrel, stubby grip, blue laser, and no ammo conversion. This gun is another high power gun, but it only has 20 bullets and a mag. It can 3 shot up to over 72 studs, probably around 80-85 studs, it's a 3 hit kill, and it's also a 2 shot headshot at that range. It has a decent amount of vertical recoil, a little bit of horizontal because of a long barrel instead of something like a compensator or a muzzle brake that would help you with that accuracy a bit more, but it's not anything that's hard to adjust to. You'll see I'm using it at more like a medium to long range at times, and you really don't struggle that much. It's really just the overall ammo capacity that throws me off. I'm so used to using assault rifles or even LMGs where I have that 30 to 50 bullets in the magazine that I, I get really weird feelings when I use this. I play way too aggressive and I definitely over expunge my ammo way too fast and I'm just not as conservative as I need to but when you adjust your playstyle to a gun like this you can immediately see improvements. You'll immediately see how strong it is, how versatile it is. Again this is another gun that uh, two shot headshot up to 80 studs like that is dominant at that range right like you are even if you get someone closer injury the three shotting or two shotting Granted, only 600 fire rate compared to the Beowulf ECR's 800, but the Beowulf can't two-shot headshot, this one can. Absolute banger of a gun, you unlock it at rank 30. If you guys saw my f how many levels could I get with double EXP, I went for the Scar H as my primary gun, the one that I bought right away when I could. It's so incredibly strong, it's so incredibly easy to use. This gun has always been a powerhouse throughout, I think, the entire history that I've been in the game, honestly. Definitely give it a try, but if you guys do want to see the part 2 to this video, it's because there's many other guns I could have thrown on this list, the video would just be way too long. Make sure you give the video a like and a sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.